Hey folks, how you guys doing? Hope you are all having a great Tuesday morning. So far, it is uh, Monday night. I'm shooting this super late. It's 10.30 at night, Monday night. Uh, I normally shoot these during the day, but I've been behind schedule getting this dining table done. Uh, I should have had it done last week, but I had a couple lazy days where I just, just didn't really feel like doing anything, so I didn't. Uh, and that's perfectly fine. It just means this week's going to be crazy busy, uh, which is also the reason why last week's video was uh, this workbench update video. Um, I just had that, uh, I just, just wanted to shoot that video, so that's what it was. Uh, I also shot a tool talk on my bandsaw last week, and, um, so many people have kind of persuaded me to just buy a riser block for the, uh, bandsaw to get extra resaw capacity, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. I just buy a riser block, and that'll, I think it's like $80, something like that. It's a lot, it's a lot less expensive than what I thought it was, and that will give me the, uh, that will double my resaw capacity from six and some change up to 12 inches, something like that. So uh, that's the least expensive route to get more resaw capacity. I'm probably going to do that probably next month, maybe the month after, depending on the, the shop budget. Um, what else? Also, uh, this dining table, yeah. I'm in the process of, of assembling it right now. I'm staying up late tonight to assemble it and hopefully put the first coat of finish on it. As you can see, there is one of the short leg sides. This is another short short leg side. I've changed the design on this project a dozen times, and every day that I've came out here to work on the project, I've changed it in some way or another. I, just, I don't know. This is the first project where I've just been change, 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 change. Um, so anyway, basically, my wife and I both agreed that every one of the base assemblies that I came up with it's just too busy for the space that we have in the shop, in our uh, dining room. So, uh, completely simplify it, but still make it look halfway nice, halfway elegant. Some people don't like me using the word elegant, but I like to say elegant. Um, so, it's just going to be a four-legged table with some walnut accents. There's going to be some accents at the bottom of the legs. There's going to be some accents at the bottom of the um, bottom of the apron rails. And I think that's going to be it. It's just a generic four-legged table. I try to make it interesting by making the center support that connects the two long rails. Uh, I try to make it interesting by adding a uh, sliding dovetail joint to connect those two together. And that was fun. It's the first time I've ever hand cut a sliding dovetail joint. And, um, oh, maybe the second time. Anyway, there's two on this table, and they turned out really well. So... They turned out accept acceptable, I'll say that. Um, they're hidden and they'll do the job. But anyway, where was I going with that? So yeah, the table's just going to be simple. And hopefully the wood grain will do the talking instead of the, the, um, the mission style theme that I wanted to go with. It's not going to be mission style at all. So, I feel like I'm blabbing here. Uh, what else? Uh, this week, I'm uh, cutting it short this week, trying to get out of the shop by Tuesday evening. I'm trying to get all my shop stuff on by Tuesday evening. Uh, Wednesday, I have to do the video editing and article for this coming Sunday. Thursday is going to be an all-day trip to, well, it's about a four-hour drive to Atlanta, Georgia for the, uh, the woodworking show event, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so I'm going to be busy during uh, those days doing that. Hopefully, I'll get some... I don't know, some uh, videos, short videos here and there, or maybe a bunch of, just a bunch of pictures for my second channel, uh, this channel. And I may bombard everybody with all that stuff throughout the weekend. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to get a hold of a laptop to take with me during the trip. I, my laptop that I've had in the shop previously, uh, it's a Dell laptop, and I got the seven beeps in the BIOS at the beginning saying the CPU is fried. So that's no fun. Um, trying to get a laptop with me so I can take with me to the show and hopefully get a bunch of stuff done while I'm there. Um, but I definitely need to get this done before I leave. Need to get done tomorrow. Yeah, need to be 100% done with it tomorrow, which is Tuesday, which is the day that you guys are watching this. So I guess I should say today. Um, tool talk. I don't think there will be a tool talk this week. Maybe if I get ahead of schedule on Wednesday, I'll, I'll uh, shoot one. But... Don't count on it. Probably not a tool talk this week. And also, I, I just now thought of that. If I can't get a hold of a laptop, then there won't be a 
weekly around the web post this weekend, which is something that uh, I've only missed like one or two in the past two years, something like that, maybe three. Um, but anyway, uh, just a quick little update. Like I said, I've got the dining table starting to be assembled. The rails, oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Look at the wood grain on these rails. Whoa, come on tripod. Beautiful. I'm so excited about the, uh, the uh, rails for this table, the long apron rails. Um, it's unfortunate, the long apron rails are absolutely beautiful, have a lot of, I'll just show you, have a lot of beautiful character in them. See how nice that is? Beautimous. Unfortunately, I don't have any more material that looks this good and I thought it would be acceptable to have this on the long rails and then because the breadboard ends are nothing but white sapwood, then I would use nothing but white sapwood for the short rails down below. Eh, it looks all right. I wish I had more of that stuff though. Um, also, the legs that I cut, I don't know if I told you guys on this channel or not, the legs that I cut out of that slab have a lot of insect damage in them, so there's, they're full of character, we'll say that. So it's either going to look like absolute crap and not look that great, or it's going to be accented and look really good. So hopefully it looks, hopefully it looks good. But anyway, that's, that's for real. That's all I got for you guys. So you guys take care. Have a great day. And if you're coming to Atlanta this weekend, I will see you in Atlanta. It's going to be a lot of fun. I said that a bunch of times previously, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So you guys take care. Have a great day and a great week and all that good stuff. See you later.